chefs welcome back to close kitchen i hope that you are excited for the holidays because i know i am if you are new here welcome to my kitchen thank you in advance for hitting that subscribe button as well as hitting that notification bell for new videos chefs today i will be unboxing reviewing and showing you how to use this beautiful oster rice and grain cooker so this is a multi-function rice cooker unlike my current rice cooker which doesn't have as many functions so let's open this baby up and see the function of each piece So I have a total of six pieces. So I'm starting with the brain of the rice cooker, also known as the heating base. It has a cooking indicator light that comes on when the rice is cooking and also a warm indicator light when the rice is finished cooking and staying warm. It has a cooking switch that you press down to cook your rice and it automatically clicks up once the rice is cooked. On the inside of the base is the cooking element. It has a handle on both sides that does not heat up when the rice is cooking, which is pretty safe to me. The bottom of the base has a stable support and it also has a warning not to immerse the base into any liquid it also has three grips to prevent it from sliding and also to protect your countertops next we have the lid which is a glass lid it has a small opening to let out the steam and it also has a handle that does not heat up whilst the rice is cooking next we have the cooking basket or tray it is used to steam your vegetables whilst cooking your rice and it has holes to the bottom. This allows the steam from the rice to come through to cook your vegetables. It also has two handles on each side that does not get hot when it's cooking. This cute little inner pot is non-stick. It also has measurements engraved on the inside. It lets you know that it can hold up to three full Oster measuring cups of rice or six 5.33 ounce of rice, which would be easy to use. It comes with its own measuring cup that measures 5.33 ounce, not the same as a regular measuring cup. This rice cooker comes with its own spatula and a brochure or manual. The brochure comes with safety instructions, how to assemble it and how to use it. It does tell you not to use any metals in the pot to use the paddle. And this is very important. The only piece that can go in the dishwasher is the inner pot. As a bonus, it has cooking times for a variety of vegetables. So this Oster rice cooker does come with a one year limited warranty. I have the option of purchasing additional warranty. I personally would not be purchasing additional warranty. It is very easy to assemble. Place the inner pot in the base. The steaming basket is placed on the rim of the inner pot. And then the glass cover is placed on the steaming tray. Before I use my rice cooker, I'm going to hand wash my inner pot, steaming tray and cover. Now I'm ready to test this Oster rice cooker. So since it can hold 3 cups, I'm going to measure out 3 cups of rice. And I use parboil rice. You can use any rice of your choice. Once I'm done, I'm going to wash the rice under warm water until the water is clear. This will help remove some of that starch and also the particles that may be in the rice. I'm adding a few cups of water until it reach a few inches above the rice. I like my rice to be scattered and not pasty or smush. Let me know in the comments below how you like your rice and what kind of rice do you use. The water should not pass the number three in the inner pot. I'm giving it a quick stir and I'm also adding about half a teaspoon of butter. You can use any butter of your choice. So I decided to go with some fresh broccoli as my vegetable, but you can use any vegetable of your choice. Now before placing it in my steaming tray, I'm going to rinse it or wash it under some cool water. Now 
I am done washing my broccoli, so now I'm ready to place my vegetable tray on the rim of my inner pot right above the rice. I'm adding my freshly washed broccoli into the steaming tray. This is totally optional, but I lightly sprinkle some Himalayan salt over my broccoli. For my last step, I have plugged the rice cooker and I turned on the rice cooker to cook by pressing down the cook switch. The good thing about this is that I don't have to run back to the kitchen to check on the vegetables because it's going to automatically shut off and it will stay warm. So I just wanted to show you how the steam escapes through the hole on the cover. The steam is from the rice that is coming through the holes from the steaming tray that steams the vegetables. So I took my vegetables out after a few minutes because I didn't want my vegetables to be too soft. I served my rice and broccoli with some tomato stewed shrimp. I am truly impressed with this rice cooker and steamer. Everything came out perfect. This is perfect for a beginner very easy to use. So let me know in the comments below what do you think of this rice cooker and steamer. So chefs, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye!